Okay, Wednesday, February 24th, Module 2, Unit 5, DNA and RNA. Um, going to go through a couple of items. I want to look at the case study uh, and uh, go through the Physio X and uh, I'll leave a couple links in the video below for you to click on. Uh, module 3 and 4, Modules 3 and 4 are now open and uh, again, we'll talk about those when they get closer, but some of you are itching to move ahead. So there you go. And then module two uh, that we're working on now do March 7th. So uh, first things first, uh, if you go over to Blackboard, do -do. and we go into our advanced AMP course. Again, we can see uh, when we click on units, That unit uh, or module three and module four are now open. So we're gonna stay in module two and look at uh, DNA and RNA. And uh, the Padlet is gonna look something like this. Again, uh, you're gonna, all these videos do work. I checked uh, those uh, uh, yesterday and they all look good. Um, so anyway, you'll wanna watch uh, any one or all of those uh, and uh, take a peek at uh, at what's going on with DNA and RNA. All right, another thing you're gonna to wanna to do, the case study this week, it's a little different than most weeks. Um, this isn't an actual case. This is more of a case on the discovery and, and kind of how the, the, uh, the DNA, uh, I guess, you know, mainstream knowledge of it, use of it in, in uh, more science than ever before. Uh, so a little bit of a background, I guess, a, his, a history lesson, right, in DNA. So uh, make sure you read through that. There's some questions, there's some hyperlinks to, to videos uh, within here as well. Or, uh, the original paper and the annotated version are both in there uh, from Watson and Crick. And then again, there are a couple of videos, they're short, but I uh, definitely would recommend watching those. Well, you're gonna need to in order to answer uh, these last few questions. So case study, very straightforward. Uh, so have, have fun with that, uh, uh, with your little history lesson and, and uh, kind of DNA and the discovery of DNA uh, and, the, and how it was credited, uh, the discovery of it, right? and how it was credited. All right, and then the Physio X for this week uh, is on AB blood typing. So I wanna go through a couple of things there. Um, and again, this is a general AMP stuff, but I do wanna go through, uh, or want you to go through a little bit as a review of what you learned in general uh, AMP. This is also a nice segue to get us into understanding a little bit more next week with uh, uh, the immune system. So we do see that there are ant, let me go back real quick, continue. We do see there are ant, there's a little wet lab video I would definitely watch uh, as well. Okay. This little figure here showing us that the blood, red blood cells have uh, any of these four appearances. So if you have A blood type, you're gonna have A antigens. An antigen is a surface marker, a protein type B antigen, uh, type AB antigen, uh, and type O has no uh, antigens on the surface. AB has both. So the blood types are named for what antigens are on the surface. And now within the plasma of those particular, uh, different, those different blood types, we do see uh, uh, different uh, antibodies that uh, if you have the wrong blood type, those antibodies can link to and cause clumping uh, or agglutination. So what we have here with the setup is six different patients. Uh, we have a little uh, well plate blood typing slide uh, uh, tray here. And then we, we're gonna have the anti-A, which would be the pro-B uh, uh, plasma. This would be anti-B serum, which would be Pro A uh, uh, plasma. So this would be A and this would be B and then anti RH serum. So we're going to be looking for clumping uh, along the way. So the first thing we, when we only have to do this one time and then the, the Physio X does it the rest of the way. So we do sample one, put it in each of the plates, and then take uh, uh, anti A serum, uh, put it in the first slot, and then the anti B serum and then the anti-RH. 
Okay, now uh, after that, we wanna take our little stir sticks and mix it around and then throw them in the biohazard bin. Okay, so we'll do that for each one. Oops, I was gonna throw it away before stirring it. There we go. And then throw it away. That's the nice thing about Physio X. You can't really screw up. Most, for the most part, uh, it does it uh, for you or it won't allow you to. So now after we uh, stir things up, this is what we're gonna see under each one. Now the clumping or no clumping is what we're looking for. So in the first plate, we see a positive for clumping. Second plate, we would see a negative, so no clumping. And then the third tray, the RH, we see a positive for clumping. So we click each of those, you can see they bold print them a little bit, click record data, and then we dump our little tray in here. And then I'll talk about what these mean while the, the next round is going. It's asking us some sort of question here. We're not even gonna read it. Uh, again, you guys are gonna wanna do all of that uh, on your own as part of your experience. So now we just let the system take care of this next batch. And while it's doing that, I wanna talk about the first sample. Again, uh, agglutination with anti-A serum. So this is pro-B. Uh, Anti-A is like saying pro-B. So we had clumping when we integrated the pro-B with this individual's blood. So that's not good, okay? So, um, so this person, uh, uh, Got, we got clumping when we introduced uh, pro-B blood. So this person is likely gonna be an A blood type, but we have to go to the next one to see. With the anti-B serum, which would be pro-A, so this would be what we would find in a person with A blood, we would find anti-B uh, antibodies in their plasma. So we add those anti-B antibodies to their little blood uh, sample there in the second uh, little well plate depression and we didn't get any clumping. So we basically mixed A blood with this person's blood, got no clumping. We mixed B blood with this person's blood and got clumping. So this individual would have to be A blood. All right, and we'll talk about that or we'll mark that in just a second. So let's just go through the rest of these. We have negative for clumping in the anti-A, positive and positive. So we'll record that, bring out the third sample. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so um, like we see, saw with the first one, uh, one clumped, one didn't. So that if one clumps and one doesn't, it's got to be either A blood or B blood. Okay? If we have no clumping in either one, it's going to be either A, B, or O. If we have clumping in both of them, like we see here, this is going to be either A, B, or O. Okay. So positive, positive, negative, record that data. So we saw positive clumping, positive clumping. So it's the same thing for both. That means it's gotta be either O blood or AB blood. All right, so if it's O blood, we're gonna see no clumping. O means no, there are no antigens. So the antibodies can't cause the red blood cells to clump. So uh, if we see positive, positive, that means we're looking at AB blood. Okay. okay, so if we have one of each, then we're gonna have either A blood or B blood. All right, so this is a negative, negative, negative. So no clumping anywhere, that's an O, and then no clumping uh, in the RH is also a negative. So number four is gonna be O negative. Number three would be AB negative, okay. All right, so again, let's go back to number two real quick. Anti-A serum means pro-B blood, and there was no clumping. Anti-B serum means pro-A blood. There was clumping. So this person has got to, he cannot be A, so he's got to be B or she has got to be B. Oh, we've got positive, positive, positive. We haven't had one of those yet. We've had positive, positive, right? Just uh, for number uh, uh, three. So we know this number five is AB, and then they are positive, so AB positive for them. All right, our last patient, and then we're done. Pretty straightforward. And of course, there are the review questions at the end. But uh, again, this is a review for most of you. Uh, this is a general AMP objective. Um, we 
do this together in class uh, when we have our face-to-face -face general sessions. But unfortunately, uh, with COVID, we didn't. So, uh, so anyway, we're kind of reviewing it here. Do uh, you guys will do your physio X? So, uh, so anyway, all right. So now is when we label them. So we said again, anti A. So that's pro B, and we had clumping. Anti A B, which is pro A, had no clumping. So this person's got to be an A, and they're R H clump. So they're a positive for there. And then same with number two, we saw negative for the pro B or anti A and positive for clumping when we mixed it with the A blood. So remember anti B means A. So this person's gotta be a B blood and they had a positive. Number three had a positive positive. So we think that they're probably A B blood and then they had a negative RH. And then the next one negatives across the board so again, we would see O, no clumping, and then negative for the RH factor. All right, and then positive, positive, positive. A, B, positive. And then the last one, again, no clumping in the pro B zone, clumping in the pro A zone. So this guy's gotta be a B blood type, and then again, no RH. So that's it. And then uh, you'll have, again, a series of questions to answer and submit. And uh, um, so again, the blood typing physics. So this week, week five, kind of a, uh, or not week five, I guess we're a little further than that, but unit five, pretty straightforward. Uh, the objectives are, are very small, uh, just kind of an introduction to, to the basics of DNA and RNA. And again, uh, the slide is here and the slide, uh, um, the video that goes with those slides is going to be, uh, I'll put a link in there, but you'll we'll also find that calendar competency five DNA and RNA. And again, where do you find those videos? If you go into your Blackboard under module two, video lectures and PowerPoints is where you're going to find the links to uh, those videos. But anyway, I'll put them uh, in the links below here. And uh, again, if you have questions, please email me. Uh, make sure again, you do uh, at least one Padlet entry, uh, do your case study five, kind of on the history of DNA, uh, go through your blood typing physio X. And of course you can do any of the other activities uh, in exercise 11 uh, for extra credit. And then uh, again, you're gonna wanna watch, it's only about a 30, well, I think it's about 37 minutes, 37 and a half minute video uh, on DNA, RNA. And again, those Padlet videos are excellent as well. So uh, have a good week and I'll see everybody next uh, Wednesday.